Hey guys, how are you? In this video, number 17, uh, we are going to talk about uh, the reboot module of Ansible. If you want, you can subscribe to my channel to not miss uh, the next uh, video. If you want to find uh, the documentation about uh, this module, uh, you can follow this link. Uh, the purpose of uh, this module is to reboot uh, when necessary and resume uh, it uh, after uh, to do a next uh, task. This module takes some parameters uh, like uh, boot time command, uh, this is uh, when you want uh, uh, which uh, command uh, to generate uh, the reboot ID. Uh, the connect timeout uh, parameter uh, to set a timeout uh, for SSH uh, connection. MSJ uh, to set a message, uh, to send a message uh, to, to the user uh, to tell it uh, something before uh, the reboot. If you want, you can set a post reboot delay. Uh, this is a delay uh, to waiting a time uh, after launching uh, the reboot. Uh, like uh, post reboot delay, we have pre uh, reboot delay. This is the time before uh, launching uh, the reboot. You have uh, the reboot uh, timeout parameter uh, to set specific timeout uh, for the reboot, not the uh, SSH connection, but uh, the reboot. And uh, we have uh, uh, search passes uh, which uh, which command to use uh, for the reboot if you want uh, to do uh, uh, a shutdown uh, or uh, whatever uh, command we can uh, add a test command after the, the reboot uh, if you want to test uh, to confirm if uh, your reboot uh, uh, have been uh, have been done uh, successfully. So to to test it, uh, I have uh, three uh, virtual machines: Devance one, Devance two, Devance three. Uh, we want to reboot uh, Devance two and Devance three, uh, and we use Ansible with uh, Devance one. Uh, to do it, we uh, add an inventory file like this. Uh, we set Devance two and Devance three server. Okay, so uh, we can test if Ansible uh, run like it with uh, Ansible command uh, dash i inventory and uh, we can set m for module and test with ping module. So we must add all for uh, group all and so Ah, sorry, we must uh, connect to Devance 3 uh, before uh, to use Ansible. Uh, you can do SSH Devance, Devance 3 like this. And if I grant, okay, so you can run the command again. So, um, permission deny. Uh, ah, yes, maybe we can. Uh, copy our uh, SSH key, SSH copy ID on Devance uh, 3, like this, I do uh, the password and it's ok, now we can check again, ok, so now uh, what we want to do, we want to reboot uh, our server if uh, this uh, file exists. Okay, so uh, before we must uh, to add uh, this file on the ta on target servers. Uh, to do it, we use a file uh, module. Uh, we edit a playbook module and uh, we run uh, like like this become uh, yes, and we set here exactly dot txt and uh, we want uh, present uh, touch the file okay so if i run it 
like this with uh, ansible dash playbook command and here I remove uh, the end of this uh, command line and I add playbook uh, file playbook.yml if I run it again I add uh, two files one file per server and if I do ls slash tmp I have xavki dash uh, dot uh, txt and if I do ls on slash tmp in uh, devant into devant 3 I have xavki dot txt okay so um, now what I want uh, if you want you can to you can check uh, if uh, this file exists uh, with a register and a stat module like uh, we have uh, already seen uh, this uh, module in a previous video. To do it, I edit playbook. I had a file, uh, I had a task name uh, check if file exists. And uh, I use a stat module and the path of the file. Uh, this is this path, okay, and I register output of uh, stat module into uh, file um, file uh, exist, for example, okay, and uh, now. I want to run a reboot with uh, the reboot module only if this file exists. Okay, so to do it, uh, I use well, I copy and I paste uh, these lines. Okay, so uh, the name of this task. Okay, and I set uh, the reboot module. I want to add a message before uh, the reboot. I want to connect timeout uh, to five seconds. A reboot timeout uh, to 300 uh, seconds. Awesome. Okay, be careful to end notation. I add a pre-reboot delay to uh, zero seconds. If you want, you can remove uh, this line. I add a post reboot delay uh, to uh, 30 seconds. Uh, we can, uh, uh, yes, we can uh, keep it. So the test command to check if uh, our reboot uh, is successfully is uh, the, the uptime uh, command. And when I want to do uh, this reboot task is only if uh, the file exists. Okay. So uh, after it, I just add another uh, task to check if my Ansible uh, resume and uh, continue uh, the next task after uh, the reboot command. So to do it, uh, I add name and uh, this is the task two. Okay. Uh, task uh, after reboot okay and I use file again I set path slash tmp slash key to dot txt okay another file and I just uh, touch uh, state to touch okay and uh, I run it again like this. Oh. Uh, file exists. Oh, okay. Maybe we have. Uh, we must fix. Uh, file exists with S. Okay. Uh, so I run it again. Okay. So we have seen. Uh, we have. Uh, uh, connection closed. Uh, our SSH closed. Uh, connection closed uh, on uh, Devance two and Devance three. 
and uh, Ansible waiting after reboot. So he, it wait uh, 30 seconds. And after uh, this time, if uh, if we have a successful reboot with the uptime uh, command, uh, Ansible continue and resume uh, the next next uh, task uh, after the reboot and uh, do uh, the sec the second uh, uh, task to create the next uh, file. To check, we can connect on Devance two, and we can do alias slash tmp. And if I check, I have Xavki two. And uh, we haven't again. Uh, we haven't uh, the the previous uh, file exafki.txt because uh, this file is into uh, was into uh, slash tmp. And after a reboot, uh, we lose uh, this uh, this uh, file. And uh, we have uh, the exafki2 file. Uh, this is the second file after uh, create after uh, the reboot. Okay. And if we check, we have the same result into uh, Devance 3 ls slash tmp, and we have xfk2.txt uh, again. Um, so we don't do it, but if you want uh, an example, a full example, uh, when we want to do uh, uh, an upgrade, for example, a dist upgrade, uh, we can do uh, this uh, sequence. Uh, first of all, uh, we need uh, to do an update, uh, an update uh, cache, uh, like this, with apt uh, module. And uh, with app module, we can do a dist upgrade like this. And after it, we can check if we need a reboot. To check uh, it, uh, we can uh, uh, check uh, the path of uh, this file in uh, slash var uh, run uh, reboot required file. Okay, we check it, and uh, if uh, so uh, yes, uh, we need to add something. This is a mistake uh, here. Yeah, we must add a register. Yeah, register, and uh, we register uh, this uh, value, this variable. Okay. And after it, after it, uh, we can launch uh, the reboot with a reboot module, and we can send a message uh, to uh, send a message uh, to Ansible user uh, and tell him uh, we do a reboot with Ansible. A connection uh, timeout to five seconds. A reboot timeout, uh, timeout sorry, uh, to 300 uh, seconds, a pre reboot delay uh, to 0 seconds, and a post reboot delay to uh, 30 seconds. We can check with uh, a test command uh, like uh, uptime, and uh, so we need to add only uh, a conditional, uh, conditional uh, uh, close. Uh, to set and to run only this uh, task if uh, this file exists. Okay. So that's all uh, for today. Uh, if you want, you can find uh, these files uh, in the link uh, below this video. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Don't miss the next one, and I say you uh, goodbye.